All parties in the matter of Still versus Hearst Combs. Step forward. Cheryl Still is suing her former friend, Crystal Hearst, and her fiancé, Matthew Combs, for insurance and registration fees, plus damages to a vehicle. Ms. Still, I'm going to try to pin you down with regard to what you're suing the defendants for. They were friends of yours, and originally I saw two things in your claim. One was for the balance of a loan. You had loaned them, according to you, initially $1,500, mm -hmm. but you changed that to $1,000. They did pay you back $1,000, mm -hmm. so we're not suing anymore for a loan, correct? Correct. So what you are suing them for is for damage to a car that you allege that you sold to them for $1,200? Yes, ma'am. That they took, they used, they didn't finish paying for, or they actually didn't pay for it. You took it back and you have the car now, but you claim that there was damage to the car. Yes, ma'am. So what exactly are you suing them for? Just the damage to the car? Yes, ma'am. How long did they have the car? From October 4th and I got it back uh, about March 23rd. So you had the car almost six months. For six months, yes. Yes. And what kind of car was it? It was a 99 Isuzu Trooper. And for the six months that you had the car, did you pay her for the car? I paid for the six months of insurance, ma'am. Yes, I did. So you didn't pay for any of the car? I don't care if you pay for insurance. If you have a car, you have to pay insurance. Right. Did you pay anything for the car? No, the car was never in my name. I don't care if it was in your name or not. What were you doing with the car? She let us borrow it because we didn't have a car at the time. Okay. Bird, would you do me a favor and look up the value of a 1999 Isuzu Trooper? Twelve fifty. Well, so that's pretty reasonable because you sold it to them, according to you, for $1,200, and they were supposed to make payments on it. Yes, ma'am. They never did. You took it back. Yes, ma'am. So the car is worth $1,200. What damage do you claim is on the car? Um, it has a cracked windshield when I got... Just a second. Okay. They said that it had a cracked windshield when they took it. No, ma'am. Do you know how the windshield got broken? Uh, the day I got the car from her, it had a, about a four or five inch crack on the passenger side of the windshield. She had claimed that a rock had hit it and cracked it when she was on the interstate driving while she had the vehicle. So it was there, it's gotten larger? Yeah, which I told her to begin with, if she didn't call the insurance company or have it fixed, that it would crack. Okay. What's next? When we picked it up, it's got a spare tire on there now. It had newer, new tires on it and an alignment. What happened to the tire? I was driving it and it just, one of the tires had a busted belt in it, blew okay, out, fine. so I put spare on. How much was it, new tire for the car? Uh, we got estimates on the windshield and the it tire. Just, I just asked you for the tire. Well, for a tire and alignment, the tire is $59.99 and alignment would be $121.97. $59 for a new tire. Mm -hmm. What's next? That's it. That and the windshield is all. That's it. They owe you $59 for a new tire. Well, the windshield. He said that the windshield was cracked when he got it. No, ma'am, it wasn't. Oh, do you have Tires a picture? Of, just either. a second. Do you have a picture of the windshield before you gave it to them? No, but my witness, he drove the car also with me, and it was not cracked. Picture? Not beforehand, no, ma'am. I'd like to take a look at the windshield just to see whether it was a rock or a pebble that hit it. Let's see. I have it on my phone. You see that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to give you the windshield. How much was the windshield? The cheaper one's $229. $288. It takes care of the tire and the windshield. Are we done? Do they not have to pay me anything for driving the car for six months? Well, they would if you put it in here. You said the balance of a loan. You have the car back. There's no more balance of a loan because the be loan was paid. Right? There should be something about them driving or something with them for having the car. They should, but you took the car back. I mean, you had a $1,200 car. Yes, That's what it's worth. You're going to fix up the car. You still have a $1,200 car. You're going to have it, the windshield fixed, and you're going to get a new tire on it. And what I suggest is you go and sell it for $1,200. Then you're whole, right? Yes, ma'am. Great. Thank you.